YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're moving into kind of a tech tip Tuesday and today we're covering inspecting tires uh, and so with that we're going to be going over checking the tread depth uh, out of round unusual wear dry rotting cracking and things like that now if you watch my previous tech tip uh, video I did do one over suspension components and uh, how they can cause wear to tires, but today we're just going to go over inspecting tires, so it's going to be a real quick video, and I hope you guys find it informative. But other than that, if you guys are free, tomorrow evening I will be going live around 6 o'clock uh, my time here in Texas, so if you're free, please join me. If not, I hope you guys find this video informative, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But if you do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe for now a subscriber. Thank you guys. Alrighty, YouTubers, so when inspecting tires, there are a few things that you want to uh, inspect. Not just the tire, but obviously worn suspension components can cause a tire to wear out unevenly, but also you need to inspect the rim itself to make sure it is not bent, cracked, or uh, damaged in any way. You also want to make sure that your rims and tires are balanced for your vehicle. And there are a couple different ways to balance a tire. You either have these outside weights that can clip onto the edge of the rim, either on the back or the front side. And then you also have sticky weights like this. And those are a couple ways to balance a tire. Now, most of the time, that will need to be done professionally if you want to get an accurate balance on your rims and tires. But other than that, moving into the tire itself, Checking tread depth can be done a few ways. Here you have wear indicators on your tire. One here, 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 and here. Now that is a little bulge off of the base rubber of the tire and it's usually about 2 30 seconds of an inch because when trying to uh, pass a state inspection, usually the minimum requirement of tread is 2 30 seconds of an inch. So if your tread depth is anywhere close to these wear indicators, you need to just go ahead and replace your tires. Not just because it is dangerous for you, but you also place people around you in danger when you do not have good tread on your tires. So there are a few other ways to uh, check tread depth besides using the wear indicators. You can either buy a gauge like this, which is a tread depth uh, gauge. You can also get this in digital. You can use a digital caliper as well with a, a depth gauge on it. Or if you don't feel like spending the few bucks on that, you can go with the old penny trick and you basically take it with Abe Lincoln's head facing up or you facing towards you, you place his head upside down and you place it in the tread. If you can see all of Abe Lincoln's head then you need to replace the tire. Now from the top of the penny here or the bottom as we're looking at it, from here to the very top of his head is two thirty seconds of an inch. So if you see all of Abe Lincoln's head you need to replace your tires. That is a simple and easy way to check tread depth. Now keep in mind that will not work on all vehicles because some vehicles have much larger tread. Other than that, these gauges are really nice to have. It reads in both metric and SAE. And the one side is metric and then the SAE side reads in 30 seconds. So to use this you're going to push the plunger all the way down to where the needle is out the base and then you're going to simply place it in your tread. Push all the way down until this base hits the tire and then you can read your gauge. And this one is roughly 11 30 seconds of an inch. So we definitely got good tread here. And uh, you don't want to only inspect in one area. You want to push the plunger all the way back down, check the center tread and the other side of the tire as well. You want to do all three locations across the tire and at least three different locations around the tire to make sure you have even tread throughout the entire tire. It's really nice to have, really easy to use, and if your vehicle only has two thirty seconds worth of tread, that is how much is going to be on your tire. So as you can tell, two thirty seconds worth of tread is not much at all and is very dangerous. So make sure you have a good amount of tread. But also, that just because you have a good amount of tread does not mean that your tire is good. You also need to inspect to make sure the sidewalls are in good condition the wear across your tire is not uneven. You want to make sure that you don't have more wear in the center or more wear on the outside. If your center is just worn out, that could be a or due to overinflation of the tire. If it's worn on just the edges of the tire here, then it could be caused by underinflation. 
If one side is worn more than the other side, that could be due to suspension parts such as your camber. And then you also want to look for dry rotting and cracking, which is due to usually age and the sun. And that looks like this. Now if that happens, it's usually due to an older tire, but uh, it is also possible in new tires. So make sure when you're getting new tires put on your vehicle, check them thoroughly. Just because a, a tire shop is putting new tires on your vehicle doesn't mean that those tires haven't been sitting there for a very long time. So besides dry rotting and cracking and tread depth, you also want to make sure you check for tumors and out of roundness. Tumors can cause uh, a rough ride or humming if you usually get a tumor on the sidewall or in the top of the tread which will cause a very rough ride and if your tire is out of round that just means that you might have a wavy tire and it might not be easy to notice but when driving down the road you might hear humming and as you speed up the hum will get faster i will try and post a picture of an out of round tire right up here for you so those are some things to inspect for when checking your tires so YouTubers, that was a real quick example of things to look for when inspecting a tire. Not only do you want to inspect the tire for uh, tread depth, but also out of round tumors, dry rotting, cracking. Also you want to inspect your rim, make sure that they've been balanced as well as uh, they're not cracked, bent, or damaged in any way because that can also affect the ride of your vehicle. Also another very important thing to inspect at least once every two weeks to once a month depending on if you have a TPMS uh, system in your vehicle is your air pressure. Air pressure is very important on gas mileage, the ride on your vehicle, and the wear on your tires. If you do not have your tires set to the proper pressure, it can affect all three of those things. So if you have a TPMS, which is your tire pressure monitoring system, you have a gauge on the inside of your vehicle that will tell you the pressure of each tire. So there, it's really easy to know what your tire pressure is at, but still, about once a month, make sure to actually check the tire pressure yourself to make sure that your TPMS sensors are not broken, damaged, or offset, uh, because that can happen. And if you don't have a tire pressure, uh, pressure monitoring system, make sure to be checking your tire pressure about every two weeks, just to make sure that you're getting the proper gas mileage that you should be getting. Make sure your tires aren't being worn out and to make sure that they're not causing uh, harsh wear on your tires. But those are some important things to remember. If I forgot to mention anything and you guys uh, think of something, please drop it down in the comments. Always love to hear what you guys have to say if you guys have your own input. And uh, I hope you guys found this informative. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also, make sure to hit that bell down below so you're notified of whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.